Hi. Welcome. Welcome back. I'm Brandon. Anastasia. And we are Share, Share the, the magic. magic. Yay. Due to one of our videos recently blowing up, because we had Funko Pops in there, we figured a lot of there's a lot of people who like want to <laughs> see our Funko Pops or what yeah. we buy. And recently, we bought a bunch. Like, also, he likes to collect them. So. I have a lot. I have. One day we're gonna show you the whole collection. I have them all over the place. I think I have over 300. I'm pretty sure. I'm sure you have over 500, but that's besides the point. <laughs> yeah, he has a lot of Funkos, so. So these are recently mail calls, actually, of everything that's come in. So the timing was actually very perfect to show all this off, plus that video going pretty good. <laughs> Yes, and today we don't have a magic guest here, so <laughs> he's actually sitting with us, but you know, it's a little bit different video, so all this is magical. <laughs> it is, but you know, it's not Disney. <laughs> but oh actually, if we talk about magic. This is Disney. I know, but here's one magical Funko here. And this is Harry Potter. This is Harry Potter from the San Diego sure. Comic Con. Yeah, you can see his little red dot on. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the back. That's the side. This is the back. This is when they went to the um, the Quidditch tournament. Yes, and uh, part four. But yeah, that was the only Harry Potter we have. But I do love Harry Potter, so we have I have more. <laughs> so this all just came in recently. All of all my San Diego Comic Con pops, and for those who were on that website the night of. You know what it was like getting those pops that night with that horrified loading screen. Oh yeah, I remember. I actually, for some reason, I got luckier than you because, I mean, we both were doing it because he wanted pops and I was doing it for him. So, yeah, I got lucky with some of them because he, when he checked out, he didn't get what he wanted because everything was sold out. So I got it before. <laughs> I'm pretty sure whoever's watching... I can feel your pain, you feel my pain. <laughs> but um, we piece it together with some from the website, from another website. And here's Ron Burgundy, the legend himself, Anchorman, drinking his Channel 4 news mug. That's the back. <laughs> yeah. and there's Ron Burgundy. So. I want to stay in the family of Ron I Burgundy. I guess, yeah, you can. This is, here's Brick Tamlin, eating his banana, also played by Steve Carell. So, oh, the wrong side. Yes, yeah, the right side. Oh, yeah. yeah, so we, uh, we have like a huge box here. <laughs> so, that's going to be a long video. It's going to be a long video. But yeah, for those who are going to watch till the end, thank you, we appreciate it a lot. So, do you have more? What about the other one? Here's Ron Burgundy again with the dog Baxter. Cute little dog, and they're both wearing their pajamas. One more. Here's a side view. Here's another one. And here's <laughs> Ron Burgundy playing the flute. And there's, uh, you can kind of see the flame in there, but here's a better side view of it. And here's the back. And I guess the last one. To finish off the collection. So this one sold out fast. This is Brian Fantana. Also played by Paul Rudd. And this is a scented pen. I had to get him from a third party website. How? You want, if like, it's scented, how does it smell? I honestly don't know. Are you gonna open? I want to open it. Just open it. Yep. I'm really curious. For for you guys, I'll open a, I'll open this. Otherwise, I would have kept it in the box. Yeah, he and never just... opens them. He keeps them in the box. For you guys out there, I'm opening it. <laughs> I mean. Oh, you can smell it already. What does it smell? It smells like mint and cologne. Oh, it smells. Oh, it smells like a very cheap cologne. Like super cheap. <laughs> well, for those from the movie, is that Black Panther? <laughs> Black Panther um, cologne. Yeah. So I'm gonna <laughs> keep them back in the box so the smell stays in there. 
Um, I guess we're gonna go back to magic because we have a lot of Disney stuff actually here too. So. so this is, let's start with this one. That was like super recent purchase. Okay, you just dropped so, it. So this is Disneyland uh, 65th anniversary. Uh, when they announced that this would be Minnie Mouse Hot, uh, not Hot Topic, Amazon exclusive. I thought it wasn't gonna ship out till later. Oh, there actually is no side view, but there is. kind of like that right there. And hopefully one day we can form the whole train and I show like you guys back. once it's all it's very done. Very cute. You can see actually the whole train over there. That's nice. And here's the second one from that part. Here's Dumbo. And there's that. It focuses, and then here's the back. We actually have two more coming. It's uh, I think. Donald and Mickey? I think so. Yeah, because Donald is actually the head of the train, and Mickey is in the middle somewhere. But yeah, it's still coming from Entertainment Arts. Yeah, they had a so. pre-order for all of them. Yeah. And then yet to be released is Pluto and Goofy. Yes. And this is a really special one from the same day they dropped that one. For those who don't know, they did two Dumbos that day. Yeah, Brian got lucky and got one. This is the pink Dumbo, if it would focus. He looks absolutely adorable. He's so cute! I don't know, somehow I get decently lucky when they do their drops on their days. Ooh, he has a very Just... cool one. If you like um, Dexter Lab and uh, Johnny Brow, he got lucky on that one too, I got so the... he got them both. I thought it was going to be a two-pack, just one thing, but yeah. no, they'd sell them separate. I was trying to get on a clue. I got lucky enough and I got that. I was we sold can... out. <laughs> but yeah. We'll so. link it somewhere. Just a quick view of it. I gotta go find him, actually. <laughs> yes. Um, here's another one from San Diego. Comic Con. This is the, the toucan on the moon. Here's a side view. This is from Iron Bob from James Silent Bob Re Reboot. Kind of looks like that Iron Man. I kind of wish that uh, float in the movie, Silent Bob, I think the robot had the hat on backwards for some reason. And I don't think he had the uh, hat on here. But it's actually really interesting. Right on the arm right there, you can see it says mall parking, right? That little green sign. I like the detail. They always do extra details on the San Diego Comic-Con Pops. Mm -hmm. So, here is the uh, Jetpack the Sith Jet Trooper. He was on Amazon. And I think recently we showed another Sith Trooper. But he was, just, he was just standing still. This one is, has, you know, the, the rockets and the stuff on the back. Really nice. They're pretty much the same, but just different, I guess, pose or... Yeah, because it's pretty much the same Stormtrooper. Yes, but it's Star Wars. I needed it. <laughs> that one, I got it for you. This, yeah, she got lucky enough to get this from online. This is Michelangelo, Michelangelo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, I like the pig at the back. It's funny looking. And it says Cowabunga on the uh, board. And it has the Comic-Con sticker on the board. Yes. That's cool. That one was rare. Yeah. This is from Samurai Jack. So I think the year before they did a two-pack of Sam for Samurai Jack and Aku. Which I regret to this day not pre-ordering it from. So where I buy it. So if I can't get my pops right away from Funko or somewhere like that and I don't really want to do eBay I get all my pops from Big Apple collectibles we can link them down below they're pretty reasonable um, but the only thing is if you let's just say you buy a pre-order and you buy a pop that's already in stock they will not ship that in stock pop until that pre-order comes available yep that's why I'm still waiting for my shipping she Harry still, Potter pops yeah she bought the whole set of the Harry Potter pops plus one pre-order pop. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, they at that time they were also pre-order because actually now they're available everywhere, and I didn't really have to do pre-order, but who knew? Still never came in and yeah, re- emailing them to like... find out what's going on, and no response. I know I'm I'm recommending them, but also just be cautious of what you buy and how you buy it. Yeah. Other than that, we never really had much many issues with them. And then here's here's Isma. Tra- uh, transformed into the cat. <laughs> and here's the back. I really want to get the rest. For some reason, I never did. Do they but, have it? Can you get them still? Or no? Yeah. Oh. I mean, I don't think there's. They're not exclusive except that one. So here's the legend. The man, the myth, the legend. Stan the man Lee. And when he was wearing the, the robe from Iron Man, and Iron Man called him Hugh Hefner. That was really cool. Rest in peace. Yeah. There are at least two toucans. So yes. there's an astronaut and superhero toucan. Yes. I know it's kind of hard to see. But here's a side view. And yes, that little thing that he's standing on the rock is in the, uh, is there too. That's cool. So, we have one more pop from San Diego drop. This is the Mewtwo. But we also have two more Pikachu. Well, Pikachu. <laughs> two more um, Pokemon, Pokemon so, pops. Yeah. So this is from San Diego Comic Con. The flocked Mewtwo. Looks very nice. And... So I have the regular version and the flocked version. And you open that. Yes, and this is the box we this got is, recently. This is the box. It was on sale, actually, and it has Flocked Pikachu and Flocked flocked Squirtle. If you didn't know, guys, we also love Pokemon, so... (laughs) Like, all things nerd, we're pretty much into it. Anime, um, comics, superheroes, I'm just dropping everything. There's literally so many pops here. So here's (gasps) Flocked Squirtle, looking all cute and stylish. I kind of wish he had the sunglasses, that would be cool from like the Turtle Squad. Can you imagine what day they're gonna do them shiny? <laughs> that would be for awesome the, though. For those out there who love Pokemon and know shiny Pokemon, just imagine just getting a shiny Pikachu, flo- uh, flocked Funko. And being shiny. I'm just thinking of that scene from Futurama where he's yelling, shut up and take my money. <laughs> I, yeah. It just dawned upon me. A shiny Mewtwo Funko Pop with the green? Mm. Oh my god. So Funko Pop, if you watch, that's an idea for you. <laughs> but yeah. Like a little credit for that too. <laughs> That'd be nice. So, so that's that not one, all we have. We have also... We also have Part some. of his present, actually. So, PX exclusive... Punisher War Machine. He looks so cool. I really want to read that comic where this is from. <laughs> then we also another Disney pop. This is uh from yeah, those the show. Actually nice little Darkwing thing. Duck. This is ne- uh, Nega du- Nega Duck. Pretty cool. And the, on the back it has the uh, the others from the show. I think a couple years ago they did a com- one of the com- I think the San Diego or New York I can't remember I think it was San Diego so it was during the summer they did I think Darkwing Duck but black and white that was a nice one wait don't you have it I don't think I have it I think I saw it somewhere I don't think I do either he but, either he showed me or, or he has it I don't know probably he just showed me <laughs> but yeah for some reason it didn't sell out and now you probably can't find it anywhere but uh. Back to Entertainment Earth, you got the Spider-Man, this is Captain Universe version, uh, Entertainment Earth exclusive with the sticker, and here's the side, and here's the back. From this angle, he kind of looks like Space Ghost. He's kind of nice looking, not gonna lie. The detail is amazing. That's cool. And you have and two more. Oh. Matter of fact, I do recommend going to uh, Big Apple for exclusives like this guy. 
Glow in the dark Black Adam. He is awesome looking. The lightning bolts light up. The eyes light up. That's cool. And especially now that the movie's gonna come out with Dwayne the Rock Johnson, I'm all about it. Like, I, I have this one, and I'm pretty sure when that movie comes out with Dwayne the Rock Johnson, I'm gonna buy all of them because I am a huge fan of the Rock. I think he is phenomenal. He's been my favorite since, God, since I was in like the first grade. When he used to do back when WWE was WWF. Tom. Yes. <laughs> and last but not least, Moon Man Rider from one of my favorite animes, One Punch Man. I'm still waiting for them to get the terrible tornado in stock. Never came in. I guess due to COVID, everything is... Who knows when. Yeah, that was it. That was a lot of stuff. I hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed uh, enjoyed all the pops if you like this video please give it a like comment down below which one was your favorite what did you get from san diego comic-con did you get that horrible uh please wait for that shipping i don't know what the issue was yeah that was bad and comment down below what do you guys collect i know everyone collects something different yeah so let us know and if you like more videos like this subscribe for more videos comment down below if you want more Funko Pop videos. Yes, we'd appreciate it a lot. But yeah, thanks for watching. And don't forget to share the magic with everyone else. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye.